Hey guys, today I'm going to explain how pH works. All right. So you ever wondered what pH means? Uh, we all know that water has a pH of 7, right? Drinking water has a pH about 7. And we know bleach is basic and, you know, citrus and lime and lemons are acidic. <clears throat> but what does that mean? What does pH mean? Okay, so why is my bottle of water pH 7? Have you ever wondered that? Um, so what makes it pH 7? What does pH 7 even mean? Um, is that important? Well, obviously it's important if it's an acid. You don't want to get in contact with acid, right? So let's explain what pH means, like very clear and concise way. All right. So in my bottle of water here, let me grab it. In my bottle of water, I have H2O, right? We all know H2O, water, H2O, all right? And what is H2O? It's oxygen. Oxygen has six valence electrons, all right? And it's bound to hydrogen, which brings one valence electron. And this is water. And most of my water molecules in my bottle of water are water. They are H2O. Okay? And how many water molecules are in my bottle of water? Well, they know this. There's about 56 moles. Just about 56 moles. All right, so let's keep... Let's keep that in mind. There's about 56 moles of water in my bottle of water. That's just how many water I have. Okay. Now, some of those water molecules, not many, but some, have done something special. The water has broken apart. Okay. A few of these water molecules have broken apart. It's called ionized. So what's happened is you've got a water molecule, right? Instead of a hydrogen leaving the, and leaving a, a oxygen and hydrogen behind, only the proton of a hydrogen is leaving the water molecule. And let me just explain this real quickly because this is actually a really important point about pH, okay? This is actually very important, uh, what's going on in water. All right, so what you should remember from basic chemistry is what makes up hydrogen, right? Hydrogen, hydrogen is a proton hanging out with an electron, okay? Hydrogen is a proton hanging out with an electron. There is no neutron in a, in a hydrogen, okay? Hydrogen is a proton with an electron, okay? That's hydrogen. If hydrogen loses its electron, okay, what is that? H plus, hydrogen ion. You know what that means? Hydrogen ions are protons, right? This is something that you know, it took me a while to figure out myself, I gotta admit, but you have to understand that if hydrogen is just a proton with an electron, then hydrogen ion, H+, plus, is, by definition, a proton. That's what proton means, okay? And here's what's happened to my water. Remember my water bottle here. I've got about a liter of water here, and in a liter of water, you have 56 moles of water. Well, some of my water molecules have broken apart. They've ionized. What does that mean? That means some of my water molecules, one of these hydrogens has left, but not the whole hydrogen, just the proton, the H+, plus, right? It left its electron behind. And look what left. H plus left. All right, what, what does that mean? Well, a proton left. And what's left over is OH, right? OH, it's called OH. 
and because it has the extra electron that uh, hydrogen left behind, it's OH minus. Okay, so you've got a proton, and then you've got a hydroxide ion. That's called ionized water. Water is broken apart, basically. A, a proton has popped off. Okay, and that's what's happened in my bottle of water. Okay, in my bottle of water, most of my water is H2O. Okay, H2O. But very few of these water molecules have broken apart. They've ionized, which means a, pr a proton has popped off, leaving behind a hydroxide ion, right? So how many of my water molecules have broken apart like this? Well, um, very few. And let me explain how few. Okay, out of my 56 moles of water, and remember what moles are, 6.022 times 10 to the 23, right? So it's a huge number but that's the number of water molecules I have. Out of 56 moles of water, this is how many have broken apart and popped off a proton. This is how many, you ready? 0 0.0001 mole. 0 0.0000001 000 moles have popped off as a proton. So there's, that's how many protons are in my bottle of drinking water, okay? That's how many protons are in my bottle of drinking water. You see how few compared to 56 moles? So not many of them. Now why does that mean pH 7? You all know drinking water is pH 7. What does that have to do with pH 7? Well, if you count the number of spaces before the 1, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay, um, you will see that that's 10 to the minus 7, and all log is, all log is, is the minus, uh, log, all pH is, is the minus log of this number. So um, the minus log of that is 7, okay? That's what pH 7 means. pH 7 means that there are this many moles of protons in a liter of water, 56 moles of water, okay? Now you know what pH means, okay? And it just so happens that any time you have regular old pH 7 drinking water, every time you have drinking water, you have about 56 moles of water in a liter, and you have 0 .0, 10 to the minus 7 uh, moles of protons floating around in there, okay? That's what it means. And, and, and this is reproducible. This is a, a fact of nature. Uh, so why does that mean neutral? Okay, what, what does that have to do with being neutral? Let me explain what that has to do with being neutral. For something to be neutral, you have to have just as many positive charges as you have negative charges, right? They have to kind of like balance each other out. Okay, so you have to have a plus charge and a minus charge balance each other out. That's what neutral means. So do you remember the plus charge here is the proton that popped off the water, leaving behind a hydroxide ion. Well, at pH 7, it's called neutral because you know how you had 10, <coughs> excuse me, you know how you had 10 to the minus 7 moles of H plus? You also have the same thing. You have 0 0.0000001 mole of OH minus hydroxide ions. You have the same amount of both. You have the same number of plus charge as minus charge same number of protons as hydroxide ions. There you go. Neutral. Cancels each other out. And pH 7 is the only pH where you have the same amount of both protons and hydroxide ions. And because this is a log scale, notice 10 to the minus 7 means there are six zeros before the one. Um, pH 6 just means there is one less zero, okay? So if there's one less zero, you're, you're dealing with a log scale. You're dealing with times 10. What that means is pH 6 has 10 to the minus 6 moles of protons. That means 10 times more protons than pH 7. And pH 5 would have 10 times more protons than pH 6 and pH 4 would have 10 times more than that. So, so as you get more and more acidic, acidic means going toward pH 0, uh, every step 
from 7 to 6 to 5 to 4 to 3, every step is times 10. 10, 10, more, 10 times more protons, 10 times more protons, 10 times more protons. So at pH 4, for instance, you have 100 times more, uh, or is it pH 4? At P, so let's do it together. At pH 7, uh, at pH 6, you have 10 times more protons than at pH 7. At pH 6, you have 10 times more protons than pH 7. At pH 5, you have 100 times more protons than pH 7. At pH 4, you have 1,000 times more protons than at pH 7. You see how it goes? pH 3, you got 10,000 times more protons than pH 7. Okay, and if you're going, this is acidic, right? Acidic means you're going toward pH 0, right? 0 is the most acidic you can get. Now, if you're going the other way, you could go up to 14. pH 14 means highly basic. In this case, uh, you're adding a 0. You're adding a 0 to the uh, dilution of the protons. So what that means is the more basic you go, the fewer protons you have. So you have 10 times fewer protons, 10 times fewer protons. So what that means is a solution at pH 8 has 10 times fewer protons than a solution at pH 7. And a solution at pH 9 has 10 times fewer than that. And, a, and pH 10 has 10 times fewer than that, you see? So um, as you go more acidic, you have more protons. You go more basic, you have fewer protons. Okay, and remember this. This is one last point I'm going to make. pH 7 was the only time when protons and hydroxide ions were the same, right? pH 7 was the only time they were the same. So what happens at, say, pH 6? Well, we know what's happening to the protons, right? The protons go up by 10, okay? Well, here's what's happening to OH minus. OH minus hydroxide ions are going down by 10. They're inversely proportional. You know what that means? When one goes up, the other goes down by the same amount. When one goes up, the other goes down by the same amount. And the only time they're the same, pH 7. So for example, pH 6. At pH 6, you have 10 times more H plus but you would also have 10 times less, fewer, I should say, fewer OH minus than at pH 7. Did you see that? At pH 6, you have 10 times more protons and 10 times fewer hydroxide ions than at pH 7. And if you're going the other way, pH 8, you have 10 times fewer protons and 10 times more hydroxide ions then at pH 7 and pH 7 is the only time they're the same and that's why it's called balanced or pH neutral all right so that's how pH works uh, leave any comments or questions you have for me below if you want more clarification I'm glad to do it um, that's the most straightforward way I can explain uh, how you know regular old drinking water you know what pH means uh, and so I hope you got a lot out of that. Um, feel free to ask questions, like or subscribe if you enjoyed that and you want more explanations. If you want me to explain something in particular that you've been wondering about, um, I'll try. Um, maybe I'll make a video about it. And uh, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe and ring that bell. Thanks a lot.